It's uh, Mark's on the Grill. I'm Mark Gill. Here's the deal. I have a whole bunch of turkey carcasses. No better way to say it. And what's the best thing to do with turkey bones and turkey carcasses? Make turkey soup. So, guys, homemade turkey soup was one of the very first things I ever learned how to make. All right? So, I'm going to kind of share the whole recipe with you today. And um, if, if you've made soup before, you know it's not an instant thing. And then come tonight after this giant pot of six carcasses and all the meat we're gonna pick off and everything. Once that simmers down, man, and everything gets all married in there, the soup tonight's gonna be great. The soup tomorrow is out of this world, man. Next day, homemade turkey soup. That's good. And with the flat top, seeing as we're gonna do it on our Blackstone here, we'll add a few marks on the grill touches to some of the stuff that we put in the uh, in the pot. So guys, uh, give us about an hour to get all the uh, the turkeys picked and plucked and we'll get this full of water and all leveled out. And we're gonna have a fun today making homemade turkey soup. Right. Oh yeah, I think we're ready. <laughs> <laughs> I, I gotta stop splashing Trish though. I gotta say that. <laughs> All right, so guys, it's part two of our soup day. Uh, like I said, this is one of those dishes that uh, uh, you can't make instantly, so we'll pop in every now and then, kind of at the different stages. We're at that part of the soup where you want to add all the uh, like vegetables that you want to put, any of those flavors. Here's the cool thing about turkey soup, right? And I was thinking about this whole thing, like, you know, are we really gonna get like, a lot of people watching today? It's soup. <laughs> How boring is that? But then I started thinking, there's got to be something magical about turkey soup because of the tens of thousands of meals that we had growing up, right? You remember this one. You remember turkey soup. Why is that? We eat all kinds of stuff, right? And a whole lot more times a year than turkey. So why does this one stand out? And then I'm thinking, when you're at that, uh, you know, Thanksgiving table, there's just, you know, above the family and the food and all that kind of stuff, there's that smell. There's something magic when potatoes meet the carrots meet the onions meet the celery meet the turkey meet the gravy meet the stuffing meet all this stuff and it just creates this unbelievable <sighs> when you walk into the house that's what soup is man good homemade turkey soup takes all of those tastes and all of those flavors and just makes it in one bowl like when the the superhero wizard conjures up all the power and right <laughs> the soup is the <laughs> that's what it is for me anyway that's what i love about turkey soup so listen this is where we're going to add all of our, uh, you know, veggies, like I said. And we're not going to worry about chopping them fine or dicing or how cool everything looks. This is just a, just a time to throw everything in there, right? So let's go ahead, get it all in there. Some potatoes, some carrots. Um, I was thinking to myself, you know, is this a good time to clean out some veggies from the fridge? Like maybe, uh, what do we got in there? Some uh, butternut squash and zucchini and stuff. And I thought, no, you know what? Those flavors weren't a part of my dinner. I don't want them in there. Let's not do that. All right, we'll get some carrots in there. Here we go. Cool celery chop coming. Ready? Cool celery chop. Isn't that fun? Oh. Dogs are happy. <laughs> Dogs are happy, that's right. I'll take the dirty end off like that and let that fall in. Parse. Oh, now, spice. Oh, you know what? Now let's save that. Spice time. Always remember that little old rule. You can always add more very tough to take it out. And we're gonna end up trying to simmer this over the next kind of six to eight hours. That's the minimum. Sometimes we'll do this as much as a day, like seriously, 24 hours, we'll bring it down, we'll add a little more water, we'll bring it down. That's good stuff. I don't think that I can keep anybody's attention for that long. So we're just gonna hit it this way. So I've got a couple of cubes of bouillon. We'll add more to that later, all right? Just regular chicken stuff. So we've got a little bit of poultry seasoning. Poultry seasoning's important. Poultry seasoning to me is how you kind of God, how would you describe that? It's the big flavor. It's that big flavor that you can adjust up or down really quick to give you that poultry seasoning. <laughs> Who's waving? Kedrick. Hey, Kedrick, how's it going? Oh, so let's get this soup. Bay leaves do not come out like this, FYI. <laughs> Don't forget bay leaves. We were actually going to do this about a half an hour earlier, and uh, I thought, you know what? I have no bay leaves. And if I go to make this, Without bay leaves, and somebody's watching. They're like, I know how to make soup. There's no bay leaves. I'm gonna call it out, man. So off I went. A little bit of thyme. Thyme's kind of an optional one. You know, some people do, some people don't. Now listen. When you have this turkey dinner, right? In addition to the spices that you have uh, in here, there's also the spices that maybe you put in your stuffing. Guys, if you've got a little stuffing, no kidding, put that in there. And there's something magic that happens in turkey gravy. You know that. So why waste it if you've got a little gravy left? Put that in there too, guys. All the tastes and flavors that you can find from Thanksgiving dinner, you get it in here to make this broth. So I think uh, you guys have heard me say a couple of times, uh, we made six, uh, six turkeys the other day. We did 
uh, three the traditional way. So, uh, you know, salt, uh, nice heavy uh, garlic, and you know, some butter on the outside. Just that nice turkey flavor. But then, think about what's in here, man. So, if you've ever had homemade turkey soup with just the regular turkey they make in the oven, oh, it's so good. But now, think about the flavors that are happening in here. We took a bacon wrapped turkey and did a nice little episode on that. So, I've got the carcass and everything from bacon wrapped turkey in here. And I've got everything in here from a smoked turkey. Not a lot, though, I don't like the smoked flavor. And I've got everything in here from a deep fried turkey. So, man, if you're a fan of turkey soup, can you imagine what those flavors are gonna start to do in here right now? So I got the onions in here, I got my celery, potatoes, I got all the good stuff, I got a few spices to get going. So let's just top it up with some water. Oh, yeah. There we go. Guys, this is fantastic. So over the next four to seven hours, this is just gonna slowly cook down and slowly cook down. Really? Uh, these guys don't get the shoot schedule. Look at this. The fine people from the city of Clearwater. Have a lovely day. Or just stay in there, it's all good. <laughs> so guys, all of those tastes and flavors are gonna melt, <laughs> melt in this pot and you're gonna start to get that magic happening. So um, if it boils down too quickly, you can always add a little bit more water to bring it back up. You're just looking for that concentrated flavor. So we'll pop back in every now and then. Have a look now. All right, remember, if you haven't joined us all day, by the way, if, if, if you're having fun back here, kind of, uh, you know, letting us be a bit of a break in your work day, go ahead, hit that little share button. You know, anybody that likes the recipes that you see today, you know, tag them in the little comment section. That's uh, the best way we know to grow our little community back here. And boy, have we grown. This has been fun. Guys, here's how our soup is going, okay? Now remember, a couple days ago, we made, was it six? Six turkeys and four or five different cooking methods. So this isn't just your regular turkey from Thanksgiving with your salt, pepper, garlic. Not that that is in holy moly fantastic, but in here you've got the tastes and flavors from traditional holiday turkey. You've got tastes and flavors from deep fried turkey. You've got tastes and flavors from bacon wrapped turkey cooked over jumbo natural charcoal in the big green egg. Think about that for a sec. I wish you could smell this, it's ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep this kind of uh, simmering down till about, I'm gonna say, 4.30, 5 o'clock is my guess. And then we're gonna come out here with whatever sort of straining system I'm gonna use. I haven't quite figured that out yet. I was just trying to get the pot. Right? <laughs> so now I gotta figure out how to strain it. Guys, here's where we're at. I just finished straining 80 pounds, which is where we started, of, of uh, water and bones and skin and stuffing and gravy and all the stuff that makes turkey dinner so yummy, right? So uh, it was quite a process to get this pot going, so a little, a little bit too much to film. <laughs> so we kind of did that in and around here with our, our, our strainers and our buckets, and we're all ready to go here. And I promised you at the beginning of the day that we kind of do like a, a little bit of a Marks on the Grill spin on things, and we're gonna do that. So we will try not to turn the camera around because it's messy over here. Don't do it. I just need my oil. <laughs> All right, come on in here a little closer, Trish, just so everybody can hear this when it hits the grill. I love it. We're not going to go super high with the temperature, but I do want to add a little bit of a marks on the grill twist with our uh, with our dinner here. So here we go. That out, just like that. Okay. Oh yeah. All I want to have happen here is have this turkey, which is the greatest hits from five different kinds of turkeys that we made. We've got deep fried turkey in here. We've got, uh, what else we got in here? Bacon wrapped turkey that we did in here. We've got a smoked turkey in here. We've got traditional holiday turkeys in here and all those tastes and flavors have gone into this soup. It's unreal. <laughs> it really is. It's so good. So listen, I've got a clean spoon here to see where we're at. So we started with a couple of, uh, a couple little cubes here, and I always tell you, don't go too crazy. I started with a reasonable amount of poultry seasoning, which, like I say, is kind of your, uh, that's your, uh, that's your big focus knob. Not a little one, but it's your big one. You can get really close to the flavors you're looking for with that. And then a little rosemary, a little thyme, bay leaves, which we took out of there. My mom said, make sure you take the bay leaves out. <laughs> well, we haven't added any salt and pepper yet. So, I'm going to give this a taste here and see where we are. Now, if you're somebody, hold on. That's so good. That is so good. Ah, that's good. He doesn't even need a lot. We haven't got our salt and pepper in there. But remember, we did the bacon wrap uh, turkey, so all the you know the salt that was the extra in the bacon is there. It's not going to add a ton of salt. I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit there. Give this 
a little bit of a turn, and then we're gonna start to add our veggies. So I'm gonna add a little bit more poultry seasoning, not a lot, and I think I gotta get a tiny bit more salt in there, definitely some pepper. Oh, we're waving. <laughs> nice, you got, it. by the way, this Blackstone uh, tailgater is so cool for this. I, this is usually something I'll do inside, and I gotta tell you, when I let, uh, uh, you know, we usually don't have an eight gallon pot here. I mean, we started with 80 pounds of soup here, guys. But sometimes I'll let this slow simmer for like 24 hours. You know what we would have done to the inside of the house, like steamy wise, what's happening here? No, I'm laughing. The dogs are partaking. So look what's happened here, guys. We picked up a little bit of that flavor from the griddle top. Isn't that fun? Like I said, I don't want to go crazy with this. I don't want to like super sear it. I just wanted to grab that little bit of flavor that makes us who we are, and I'll tell you, when you use that Blackstone, it kind of like leaves your family signature on that cooktop. So the more meals that you make, the better and better they start to taste. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get that in there, just like that. Oh yeah, love it. Perfect. Now we got our meat in there, and now we'll add some veggies. Did we turn that off? We did. Let's see what we got. Got a whole bunch of potatoes. <laughs> I was I was chopping and peeling vegetables all afternoon, man. When you start with 80 pounds of soup, you gotta remember the two celery stalks aren't gonna do it. I am gonna add a little bit more here. I want one more bouillon, just like that. And remember, don't over spice. You can check out a little more later. I'm gonna take it easy on the rosemary and thyme because there's a lot of those kind of spices in the uh, uh, gravies and the stuffings and things like that. Remember, all of that got incorporated in this soup. If you like a thin soup, this is not for you. I like soup that's uh, somewhere between like a, I don't know, that mom sent me a picture of a soup that she likes to make. It's uh, It's got a tomato base in here after that, uh, but in a really thin broth. So I'm not a big fan of that side of it. Sorry. But, you know, we're not making stew today. So this kind of lives, if this, is, if this is that thin broth and this is a stew that grandma makes, we're right about here. Okay, that's where I like to be. We're not gonna add any thickener to this because in the gravy and the starch from the bread, the thickener's already in here. So it, it, by adding the stuffing and adding the uh, gravy, it actually thickens this exactly where I love it to be. Love making this soup, man. All right, so now, tiny little bit of salt. Not gonna overdo it. It's a big pot so we can be a little generous. And the weenie side. We don't want the weenie side. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's what we're gonna do, you guys. I don't want the vegetables to be mushy, and if you're somebody that loves uh, some noodles in your soup, now's not the time to do it. I've made that mistake before. What a god-awful mess it makes your soup. Don't do it, don't do it. For the love of Pete, don't do it. All right, so have a look in here, you guys. This is, oh man, usually I'm working with like a one or two gallon or two quart pot. This is so much fun. I think we have like 35 pounds of soup happening here. So once we bring this back up to a boil, then you shut it down for about an hour. That's the way I like to finish my soup. That puts the veggies exactly where I like them. And then when you reheat them in the microwave or in a pot, uh, it, it, it's, it's, it's kind of not crunchy, but it's solid enough now that when you reheat it, it still hasn't turned to mush. So that's my favorite way of doing it. Bring it back to a boil, and then cut her off for about an hour. That's gonna get you to the point where you're gonna serve it tonight. And then if you make homemade soup, you know it ain't about the soup tonight. It's about the soup tomorrow night. You know what I'm saying, right? So guys, give us an hour. Uh, let me bring this back up to a boil, shut her down, and we'll come back, give it a few finishing touches, and we'll show you the way we love to serve our homemade turkey soup. That uh, One of the first, thing I uh, first things I learned how to cook. Yes. Hey, gotta look inside here. This is what it's all about, man. Nine hours of my life dedicated to that. Worth every, every second. All right, let me put the lid over here for a sec. I'm running out of, running out of space. So guys, uh, we started our adventure here at 9.30 this morning. That's nine hours ago. Nine hour homemade turkey soup. Like I said, worth every second, I gotta tell you. So uh, again, if you're just catching up, uh, sorry if I bore you with this, if you heard this a couple of times today, we had an occasion to cook a whole bunch of turkeys a couple of days ago, and we had all of the bones and carcasses and leftovers from four different styles of cooking these, okay? We're talking like traditional uh, holiday style, salt, pepper, maybe a little bit of garlic, and that's about it. You get the nice herbs on there, a little bit of parsley, you get that turkey bacon that comes off. That's good enough as it is, and that's what I usually make my turkey soup out of, and it turns out pretty good. But this time around, because we made so many, check this out, we made a bacon wrapped, seriously, made a big bacon lattice, it's the coolest thing. Made a bacon wrapped 
uh, a turkey in the big green egg. Now, if you don't know what a big green egg is, it's a Kamado grill that uses lump charcoal, the natural stuff. Oh, it was so good. And then we took like a Cajun one, super spicy, and smoked it in our Master Build electric smoker. And we did a Southern fried one. So think about that. The Southern fried one, it's in there. Cajun one, in there. Big green egg one, in there. Holiday, in there. It's all in there. This is like the coolest taste of a turkey soup I've ever had. So uh, we're gonna serve it up in just a second. Before we do, let's get some bread ready. Now, listen, you spent nine hours making soup. Don't drop the ball here, okay? Make sure you butter the buns. Good opportunity to, to get rid of some uh, some buns lying around if you got. And take a little bit of uh, garlic salt or this Johnny stuff. Love this stuff. Ugh, there we go. Da, da, da. Now, I didn't put any garlic in the soup because nothing to do with uh, uh, like turkey dinner had garlic in it. So, you know, I'll have it on the bread, but the soup's all about kind of everything you experience for turkey dinner. That's why everybody loves it so much. I said earlier in the day, of all the thousands and thousands and thousands of meals that we have over the course of our lives, why do we remember turkey soup so much? Oh, who's waving? Liz, Leslie. Yay. All right. Oh, Leslie. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. It took me a second there to clue in. Leslie's got to try this one. I think we got him the 22 inch. Ben Moore, your mom. Okay, there we go. So here, here's how we serve this one up, okay? Because you want to make sure you got like the, the right ratio of stuff and broth. Stuff's important. All right. <laughs> so we're going to go deep in here. And look at this, man. I tell you. And I said this before. As good as this is now, wait until tomorrow. Oh, by the way, if you notice, at the bottom here, I put the noodles, all right? I love, love, love noodles in soup, but you don't want to put them in too soon because it all kind of turns to mush. So you never eat soup right off the bat anyway. So go ahead and take those no yolk noodles, whether you use the spirals or the ribbon ones, and just put them right at the bottom of the bowl. And by the time the soup's ready to eat, 10 to 12 minutes later, it's all perfect. So we got, whoa, nice, huh? We got a couple of buns there. All right, we'll get a couple here. We'll serve all this stuff up in just a minute when we're all done here. Guys, if you joined us today, I really appreciate it. Uh, you know, Thanksgiving and Christmas and all that's right around the corner. There's gonna be so many cool occasions to get together with friends and families and have those turkey dinners. Always make soup a part of it. Come on over here. I, uh, I, I did the kind of pour over noodle things one about 15 minutes ago. Have a look. And there it is. See? The noodles are perfect. I love it. By the time the soup's ready to eat, those noodles are fantastic. Look at the amount of turkey in there. I love it. So guys, that's our homemade turkey soup. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take all the videos we made today, and I'm going to edit it down into a, uh, a recipe that's not so uh, long and torrid to watch from start to finish. And uh, hopefully, uh, come holiday time, Thanksgiving or Christmas, you have a chance to take the you know that leftover turkey, everything to do with it, the turkey, the gravy, the stuffing, everything, and make the most incredible homemade turkey soup. And I'll tell you, you make something like this, even if you're just making it out of the one style of turkey you make this year, this is the meal that your family's gonna remember 35 years from now, you guys, swear to you. Take a little time, put that love in there. That's what it's all about. And that's what we're all about here at Marks on the Grill, you guys. Have a great night. Thank you so much for joining us today. We're gonna enjoy our soup. Make some enjoy yours. We'll see you next time.